Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and today we're going to do another Friday feature. We're going to showcase some of the animals that uh, don't get noticed a lot, and they're kind of hard to see. So let's go take a look at some of them. So first up in this cage, this is what you usually see during the day. You don't see anything in here, but these are banded rubber frogs. We're going to actually dig some out for you to look at today. All right, so we got one right down here. He was underneath that, and then we got one right up there. He was underneath that piece of cork bark. And you can see these guys are actually really beautiful. They're nice, bright red color. And they don't like to hang out in daylight a lot, <laughs> as you can see. We zoom in here. He's kind of looking like, where's my spot to hide? <laughs> They're really, really cool. And then another name for these guys is, I think, a red and black walking frog. And you can see why they're called that, because they don't hop around. They like to crawl and walk around instead. He's trying to scooties himself back there. <laughs> He's gonna go hide. Yeah, these guys, when they want to really move, they don't jump around. They actually just run and walk. So, this guy was actually running. <laughs> they do hop around a little bit. For the most part, when they try to get to places, they mostly just crawl and run. Don't ya? But yeah, people don't get to see how pretty these guys are. Uh, because they always hide. So, during the daytime when people come in to look, they just don't see them. And then, of course, we got the new glass frogs right down here. And he's gonna be hopping around because I bothered him. He was on the wall. But they are like translucent frogs. You can see through them, especially when you view their bellies when they stick to the glass. You can see their whole body system, their heart, lungs, stomach, intestines, everything. And then from the top, they kind of look like a green gummy frog. They have little yellow spots on their back too and that's for when they're in the wild and let's say they're perched on this leaf they usually lay their eggs on leaves. So whenever they lay their eggs on leaves if they sit there their back kind of looks like their eggs so it kind of gets the predator to go after them instead of their eggs. This is kind of a way of protecting them, uh, protecting their eggs. So that is the explanation for why they've got those yellow spots. Then we've also got one that's inside the skull that was in their tank. He's hiding there. Once they get older, they'll develop those spots more. This one doesn't have as many on its back right now. On this one, you can kind of see those spots a little bit faintly there. See them a little bit better. See how he's kind of speckled there on top? That's the, the egg spots. And then right down here, we've got our little helmeted gecko, our little male. He's been with us for quite a long time, and he still hasn't been able to find a home, even though we feature him a lot. He's pretty handleable. You just gotta go slow and be very gentle. Here. But he likes to hop off too, as you can see. <laughs> You're okay, little buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he's small and fragile. But he's pretty cool to watch eat. Aren't you? Yeah. But yeah, he's really cool. I know we, I think we had a female in here at one point, And uh, we sold her, but never him. So, yeah, he's a pretty awesome lizard. But he does love to hide during the day, so people don't get to see him a lot. He likes to hide in his little cave over there. Hmm. <laughs> 